What can we expect from the PlayStation VR 2 for the first year? Have you ever wondered why Sony decided to release the PlayStation VR 2 in February? I know I'm not the first to ask this question. It's a time just after the expensive festive season where money just seems to be flying out of your wallet without control. So it might not be the best time to release a product which is both niche compared to flat screen gaming, plus expensive which is likely to be the general perception for those who might be new to VR. But there could be a method to Sony's madness. Maybe they're looking to go big at Christmas. Think about it. Since the PlayStation 5's launch, there's been a shortage of PlayStation 5s, but according to Sony, this shortage is now over. Given the dependency of the PlayStation 5 for the PlayStation VR 2 and knowing VR is still niche compared to the PlayStation 5 system, Sony could be giving people the chance to get the PlayStation 5 while the PlayStation VR 2 works on the background through its high tech, advanced VR experience, strong games, and using content creators to spread the good word. Not only is this free marketing, but it gives consumers the time needed to save and then come Christmas, they drop some big guns and pick up their marketing efforts, which so far have not been that great, I'm not gonna lie. I think on paper this does make sense and of course it's speculation, but I don't know, the timing of the release is quite random in my opinion. And Sony are clearly serious about VR. They have invested a lot and now some big games so far, so there is intent. And you can tell the designers really care for the PlayStation VR 2. Did you see the breakdown video of its components? If not, check it out. Their engineers are insane. So things like this make me think that their marketing efforts, in my opinion, don't add up. Unless they're saving it to go large at a time when consumers are more ripe. So maybe we can look at the first year of the PlayStation VR 2 as the seeds that will eventually bloom. The launch lineup is actually really really strong already with 30 plus titles being the biggest VR launch in history. But I'm sure Sony will not slow down and the rumour flow is already confirming this. PlayStation 2 without parole has already said that once the reviews are officially announced that Sony has some more hidden gems up their sleeves. But during the first year we should also get some confirmed release dates for PlayStation VR 2 titles, Lo-Fi, Thumper and more info on titles such as Behemoth. Also we've seen this already but I do expect more Quest exclusive type games like Beat Saber to move over to the PlayStation VR 2. And the recent news that Assassin's Creed VR will not be Quest exclusive gives us another indicator that this trend is likely to continue. Meta are really not doing themselves any justice with the questionable decisions, especially with them closing down Echo VR recently. So are devs recognising this and thinking to jump ship? It could be a possibility, but I think the PlayStation VR 2 tech is making this actually a much more alluring and maybe an easy decision for them. Oh no, no, I we'll have to go to better games for the PlayStation VR 2. But whether the Quest 3 has something unique even better than the PlayStation VR 2, who knows? But at the moment, PlayStation VR 2 is the place to be. And with this, maybe this is the year when Sony and that they'll be porting some of their PlayStation VR 2 titles over to PC VR. If Sony do this, this will be beneficial and a nice touch to the developers to reward them so they can also eat from the success. Plus, it gives PC VR users a sneak peek into the PlayStation VR 2 world. And this brings me on to my next point. Will this be the time PC VR users finally jump ship over to the PlayStation VR 2? It could be. I think a purchase depends on whether you have the PlayStation 5 or not. If you did have one, I can't see why you would not be tempted to check out what the PlayStation VR 2 has to offer. And it might not happen right away but with PC VR because of a lack of games it feels like it's on a decline the last big title probably being Half-Life or Bone Lab then it could well be a possibility and that comment might piss some people off but I think it's the reality look it isn't personal software is key to any console if PlayStation VR 2 fails to deliver good games then it too will start to fall off but at this current stage the launch lineup with titles such as Horizon and Resident Evil means it's off to a promising start and just an FYI trying out the PlayStation VR 2 and giving it a go doesn't mean you chuck your PC VR in the corner and forget about it completely as there is a lot of good content there, but importantly, there's nothing new. The PlayStation VR 2 is offering something fresh to VR, and when the Quest 3 comes out and the next Pico, that too could have the same effect. Maybe not straight away, but we will see PC VR users trying to give the PlayStation VR 2 a real go. Now onto some of the challenges and issues during the first year of the PlayStation VR 2 release. The PlayStation 5, as we know, had a rough start. COVID, lack of PlayStation 5s available, scalpers grabbing the PlayStation 5s and selling them for stupid amounts of money. But unlike the PlayStation 5, the PSVR 2 is unlikely to run out of stock, so I think we're good here. But we might see some initial teething problems with the software. For example, the PlayStation 5 infected some users with a bug that prevented players from downloading digital games due to it getting permanently stuck at queued for download. So there could be a lot of different things like this that occur, but guess what? During any type of early life cycle, this is normal. This will likely be patched up and sorted out. The the first year was always going to be important and pivotal with regards to the PlayStation VR 2 release, but if Sony are looking at VR as a long term, which I think they are, and if you have doubts over that, do check out this video here, then maybe this is the year they're building the VR foundations for a long, healthy PSVR 2 life cycle. And looking at the strong launch lineup already and speculation of more games being announced, I'm sure this is going to continue further into the year. And I do think we will see a transition of people that played other VR devices 
slowly come over to the PlayStation VR 2. But this might take a bit longer as reviews and new announcements might be needed to not only sway PC VR and Quest users, but the general public. I mean, I can't see why not. The PlayStation VR 2 looks like a real beast. But what do you guys think? What kind of trends and patterns do you foresee for the first year of the PlayStation VR 2 release? And guys, if you like today's video, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot and it really helps out the channel. With that being said, if you're new here on Techlo, I bring VR news on a weekly basis. I release every Friday and I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, you'll have the PlayStation VR 2.